thought I'd always be alone. I randomly walked up to the prettiest girl while I was visiting my friends across the country this summer. I flew back to LA and we talked every day. I flew 2,000 miles back to hang out with her and told nobody. We started dating. Long distance is hard. I missed her, so I went and I surprised her. I've been wanting a change from eight years in LA and wanted to move, but I'm stuck in my apartment lease. A random miracle happened and I'm out of my lease. I told all my friends I decided to move across the country. Also, I am moving in 30 days. And now it's time to tell my girlfriend that I'm about to move 2,000 miles to the same city as hers. I got some news. Okay. I gotta be out of my apartment in 30 days. What do you mean? I'm moving, baby. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm going to Tennessee. It's happening, baby. <laughs> so you better get used to me being around. <sighs> I literally just got a just got an email saying that it's happening. <laughs> I've been working on it behind the scenes for a few days. <sighs> I have to be out in 30 days. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> Once again, I'm in shock. You surprise me and I have no words. <laughs> That's a plan. I'm shaking. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? I'm gonna get to be with you all the time. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna be together. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna work hard. Do great things. Hopefully make some people smile. You always do that. Is that crazy? It doesn't get any crazier. <laughs> I feel like... I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be a dream. You can't be like, oh, well, what if this happens? What if we try? Like, we just gotta do it. See. Yeah. I'm falling out of love with you. So, this is it. It's real. I went to a store to get boxes to start packing. It's time to pack up all my stuff and leave Los Angeles. to California. I will be a new member of the California residency. I'm super excited. I'm going to move to LA. It's coming up really fast. Actually. You guys are coming along with me. Alright, I'm on my way to my old stomping grounds, aka Keenan Ayla's and Coast. I'm going to meet the baby for the first time, which I'm so excited for. I am also going to say goodbye. As I came to say goodbye to one of my best friends here in LA, I was also saying hello for the first time to his baby. Life is awesome. It keeps moving whether you stand still or move with it. We talked about his new life as a dad, he shared some photos with me of his new son and told me how much love he has for this kid. I was planning on staying for a few minutes but ended up talking for almost three hours. We ended up not saying goodbye that day because I was going to come back one more time before I left. This is so cool. I've never been to the beach by myself. I like you have to make sure it's happy. You gotta make sure it's good. Because why not? Why not be super happy for your life? It can be the best. Who's to say that your big dream can't come true? Make things happen. People just make it happen. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to make my dreams happen. And that's exactly what I plan to do. And that's what I'm so excited for these vlogs for because you guys are going to be coming along with me as I try my best to make things happen. Whatever you dream, even if you don't know what you want to do, you'll find out what you want to do exactly at the time when you're supposed to find out what you want to do. And then you're going to make that happen. I know you're going to make it happen because I believe in you. You got to believe in you. And once you believe in you, you can do anything.
it's the day before the movers come. I've been packing all day, dude. There's Cap. The walls are bare. This is the last little piece I gotta do. Podcast room. Destructed. Very nice. Box is ready. Closet's ready. Guys, I'm tired. The room is ready to go. I got some stuff packed up for my flight. Closet's all ready. Got a lot done today. Cap's going on his first flight very soon. That's his little bed thingy. He's doing good in it. You ready to be a Nashville guy? This is the last full day in the apartment with all the stuff tomorrow. They're coming. Packing it up. They're taking it on the road for like two weeks, dude. I'm gonna be here, patch some stuff up, close some things out, say goodbye, and then I'm out of Los Angeles. It's past midnight, good night. It's moving day! So today is officially moving day. I'm shipping my Jeep. They're gonna be here any second. Moving Hub will be here soon after. It's moving day, baby. On to the next adventure. I don't know, dude. I don't know. My car is about to be loaded to take away. Oh my gosh. See you, car. Here it goes. Peace out, Jeep. See you in Nashville. Oh boy, there's my stuff. As the day ended, everything started to finally become more real. All of my stuff is packed up, and tomorrow will be my final day living in LA. I was recording a little walkthrough thing, and I hit my elbow so hard, I just needed to include that. I ended the night at a dodgy place to do a final truck loading. It was kind of creepy. I don't, I don't know how I got to this place. I'm, yeah, I'm confused. It's all packed up. These are going to Nashville. They'll be there in two weeks. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Nine o'clock, started at two. See you in Nashville. All right, I just picked up Cap. Randy and Neza was watching him all day. Gabby, where's all your stuff? He doesn't even care, dude. He just wants his ball. That ball was lost under the couch. <laughs> are you happy, Gabby? Where is everything? <laughs> that was a long, that was long. That was like seven hours. That was a long day. I had to run around and get some last minute things and Franny volunteered to take me since my Jeep was already gone. Okay, so we came to Target because I don't have a car. Franny has a car. She was going to Target, but now I'm roped in. Now I'm in the sock section. She has a huge list. I need one item. He stuck with me for the next hour. Hour? This is my last day. Which sock do you think of? Oh, what <laughs> sock do I think? Breathable one for nighttime because I start getting hot. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> okay guys, it's my last full day in LA and I'm about to buy my flight out of here. This is what I need for tomorrow. Hasn't all hit me yet. Cap's first flight, a little scared. He's gonna sit with me, don't worry. Getting a super late one, first time flying with Cappy. Don't know how it's gonna go, so I want the flight as empty as possible. Book. Bye LA. Tonight, going with a few friends to dinner and a movie. Let's keep going. All right, guys, it's the last night in Los Angeles, and so a few friends came out to the Grove for old time's sake. Oh, way too close. It's bro. a wide angle, bro. I'm leaving too. Oh my gosh, Seb's leaving too. Are you leaving too? I'm staying. You guys leaving too? No. I'm here forever and ever and ever. Oh my gosh. And so we're going to get food at the Cheesecake Factory. It's an hour and 15 minute wait. And then we're going to watch a movie. There's some split decisions about the movie. We'll see what happens. It's at 10 <laughs> Who watches a film at 10? Do you think it's too late? A yes. A yes. <laughs> Whenever he has a scarf on, he goes, oh yes. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> to the first time that we came to the Grove together, bro. The boys are in town. This is Anderson. You guys know Harrison. They are back yeah. in town and they're at the Grove. And how are you feeling, boys? Feeling, feeling good. good. We're feeling good. To be in LA. We used to always this be out there, no, This is like, this is, you know how like a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, this feels like the vlogs. This feels like the vlogs. Hey, welcome back. And now I'm going to the UK. So many vlogs throughout 2017, 2018, all of the vlogs. Well, welcome to LA. Thank you very much. We should call Corey the bullet, because that was quick. They're crying. He's crying, he's crying, he needs a minute. Is he crying? That's a deep grip. <laughs> oh, look at it, he's out. It's snowing, bro. It's the last time snowing in the Grove. Guys, yeah, it's snowing at the Grove. This is like when we used to go to Disney. Okay, I see. That's, that's, a, that's not a cloud. Every oh. year, you have not missed it. Last day in Los Angeles, California. Pretend you're in Disneyland. All right, close your eyes. I'm like, okay, I'm at Disneyland. Merry Christmas, guys, and Happy New Year. Wow. Uh, it's, it's so... We're getting fresh because the line's taking so long to get food. This is mine. This is, is like mine. It? I ate it all. Sebastian said it tastes like furniture. Yeah. From Ikea? Yeah. I'm still waiting for Cheesecake Factory. Then the movie. It is 11.30, we didn't go to a movie because it took two hours to get seated, yeah. but it's good food, and this is the last time at the Grove for a while. Peace so, out, bro. So many good memories, glad to share the last one with you. We're out of here, see ya! Copyright, it was just like a Grove to me.
Dang. The Where's city this? of dreams. Seb's so going to stay on my place because his place is gone. And he said, I got an air mattress. It's a and then paddle he, board. And he just opened up and it's a paddle board. You blow it up. It's just the same. Why did you say it was an air mattress? It's the same thing. It's the same yeah. size. I can see how you got confused. No, I'm joking. I got you an air mattress here. Let's Whoa. Go. Yeah. What a... What a trick. Last night in Los Angeles. Got a guest. <laughs> Sub stayed over here because his Lisa did too. I got a full day of goodbyes tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, check out his sad setup. <laughs> not, even, not even a pillow. We waited way too long for that Cheesecake Factory. Didn't watch a movie, but we got to hang out with friends, so that was a whole point. One minute we're roommates in Nashville, and we're just like, you know what? I think it's time to leave Los Angeles. And now, now we're, we're here. Last day in LA. We stayed up late talking about all the crazy memories we made in LA. Wild to think that this is the last night here. All right guys, we're going to sleep. I feel like it's starting to hit me a little bit. Still not really though. But I did just want to say before I go to sleep, I read all the comments on all these videos and stuff and the amount of support that you guys have been telling me and personal stories and just all the encouragement during all of this stuff, it means the world to me. So I just want to say, I appreciate it so much. Doing this big change, doing this whole different thing, it, it's, it feels, pretty wild to me and just to know that you guys have my back it feels like and are just supporting through everything and giving me encouraging words it's just wild so i just i appreciate it so much i just want to verbalize it and say thank you guys and i appreciate i just appreciate it so much to change things up like this i don't know i was really scared because this is what i want to do and i think it's the right decision and stuff, but to see you guys watching and just to be doing something that I want to do and seeing the support with it, it just means the entire world. So thank you guys so much. I just, I appreciate you. See you in the morning. I'm gonna say some goodbyes. Bye.